Uh, okay. The angle's a little off because I'm using a different stand on my phone. Um, lighting is also not the best. This is not the best introduction to a video. My goodness. Um, the, the stand that I usually use is in my guest room buried in the closet. And we currently have guests in there. So I can't. Not that I can't, but I don't want to get to it at this <laughs> at this moment. Um, but I did want to record a monthly Manny's video, so I want to share with you guys all the all the polishes that I wore in April. Uh, we are nearing the end of June, and I really want you guys to see all the polishes that I shared in my spring seasonal rock video. I want to to show you guys what they look like on the nails. Um, so I'll start with this one because this is such a beautiful polish from Orly. This came out just this past winter. I think it was and it's called ephemeral this is a white polish um, the base is like a super fine white shimmer but it has this little hint of pinky purple do you see it here and here and a super strong let me cover the light so you guys can see that strong yellow gold it's almost like a yellow um, like a vintage yellow gold shimmer super visible on the nails by the way now this is a very sheer polish so at three coats i can still see the nail line uh, but i did not care while wearing it because it looks so ethereal looking on the nails that it honestly it distracts from that it's just so pretty i love it and you can see how sheer it is right around this area so pretty so i did add three coats on my nails and then um, the next manicure I actually wore in a video I made. Um, I think it was called Manny Outlook of the Week or something like that. I can't remember. I want to do another one of those videos. I had great feedback actually in that video. But anyways, I was uh, wearing this manicure in that video. And this manicure wore very, very well. So I wore Blue Lala from Essie, which is a pastel blue or a sky blue, whatever you want to call it. It's a cream. It takes about three coats for this one. And I also wore Blanc from Essie. And this is a white cream. I only added two coats. Um, it really does help for me to use this rich filler because it's it's white. And it's not fully opaque, but it really covers the, the, the tip of the nail very well. Um, and so it helps like polishes like this or sheer polishes, let's say, apply a little bit easier. So I added two coats. I was going to stamp over it anyways. And then on a couple of the nails, I added Elixir from Orly. This is a, a silver shimmer. Very metallic looking on the nails. Uh, the particles are super fine in this. So I did, a, you know, I took the time in applying it and keeping the brush straight on the nail so I, that I didn't um, get the brush strokes. And then I used a stamping plate from Bundle Monster. I forgot to bring it out actually, but uh, it had a marble design on it and uh, I'll link it down below if, in case you guys are interested interested in checking that out. And I stamped over first Blue Lala and then I stamped over Elixir over top of the white. And that was a great match. It wore very, very well. I'm pretty sure I wore it for a whole week. And I've been wearing my manicures a lot longer. I used to wear, change my polish every day. Then it moved on to every two days and every three days and every four days. And now it's like once a week. And I'm actually enjoying that a lot. I feel like I really get to enjoy that polish a lot, a lot more. Okay, um, so let's do one that I wore uh, on Easter, actually. I think it was the Aldi's, right? I used this polish here from Essie. It's one of those sheer pink polishes. Uh, so no matter how many coats you add of this, I'm always going to see the nail line. This is called Sheer Fantasy. I added, I think, one or two coats of this as a base. And then I did a French tip design uh, where the design came from the top of the nail down and then it curved around the tip of the nail. Um, almost like a little uh, check mark. <laughs> And one of the polishes that I use is from my Project Polish. You guys, if you watch my Project Polish videos, you'll rec recognize this manicure. It's Sweet Cheeks from Sonia Kashuk. This is the polish I'm trying to work out. I love this color. It's a dusty pink. And then I also use this yellow polish. It's very golden leaning. And it's called um, Golden Afternoon from Orly. It came out in their spring collection. And I utilize the brushes that come in the bottle to create that French tip. I didn't use any tools. Um, Morgan Taylor. This is called 
catch me if you can it in the bottle it looks like a butterscotch type of color but on the nails it pulls more orange like a little bit deeper it is orange but it's i feel like it deepens up on the nail more more so than what you see in the bottle i actually initially bought this polish in the fall it came out in a fall collection and i i put it on and it kind of threw me off because i was wanting this color <laughs> um it's still really really beautiful it's just not what i was expecting so uh anyways put that use that one color and then i also use orally's blue iris also came out in the uh, spring collection just this past year it's periwinkle blue color uh in person it looks slightly bit more purple than than what is showing here on camera i feel like the camera's pulling a little bit more blue and then i can't remember because i did two french tip designs and on, on one french tip design i used a peasing which is this from simple colors and the other one i used i think it was mint julep from salon perfect but now i can't remember which one of the two and i forgot to bring out mint julep uh regardless whatever and then on my french tip design i put over top of that a gold glitter topper this is one of my favorite gold glitter toppers it's from zoya so let me do a little close-up because the glitters are not hexes they're not uniformly shaped they're like little shreds of metallic glitter and they do lay flat and i added that over top of the color that's all i did super easy manicure really beautiful i loved the gold topper over every single color i mean it was amazing um another actually um french tip mani that i did uh, utilizing and i did a skittles mani and i actually did a little um tutorial short clip whatever on instagram um i used similar polishes so i pulled this one this one this one and then another pink polish i think it was watermelon felon and i used blanc from essie and i utilized a dotting tool um to lay out my little dots because it was a little scalloped french french design um, so I grabbed each color and just dotted around my my little line here and then filled in with the brushes to create that French tip. And again, Golden Afternoon from Orly I used, Appeasing from Simple Colors or Mint Julep from uh, Salon Perfect, I can't remember. I used Blue Iris from Orly. I used Watermelon Felon from uh, Sally Hansen. I actually used this one as a pedicure on its own it's amazing i love this color it's so beautiful and then i also use blanc from essie and then i grabbed a brown acrylic paint and a toothbrush and just flicked it on to make it look like a little speckled egg so it was a scalloped french tip speckled egg nail design <laughs> um and that was super fun it was so cute i loved it and then let's see i did a dry brushing uh, manicure i also shared this one in my um uh what was it called uh project polish uh video and i used quite a few polishes let me see if i can find the ones that i used because i used the white polish from my oh here it is all right i used sun kiss from l'oreal it's a white that has a drop of black in it so it grays it out a little bit and this type of white i really prefer during like um, fall or winter it's not a crisp white I feel like it's a little bit more gloomy and because it, it was it's spring right I was actually starting to use this as a base to cover up the white a little bit because it was not as crisp as I would have liked it so anyways I used this as a base L'Oreal Sunkissed and then I dry brushed the following. Let me pull all of these out. Let's see, this one and then a rose gold. I saw that a similar manicure um, or maybe the same manicure on Google Images or something. I was looking for inspiration pictures for spring and someone had done a dry brush design. I, I had done a dry brush design a couple of times already, but in this dry brush design, they also incorporated a metallic, and I thought that was beautiful. Um, I love dry brushing because it's super simple. You do a base and then you dry brush different colors. I've done that with neons, pastels, all really beautiful manicures, and I've enjoyed them, but I never dry brushed a metallic incorporated throughout and i thought that was really cool um so i dry brushed eden from zoya this is a medium tone pink 
it's a beautiful pink i love it it's a cream and then again golden afternoon clearly using it uh, quite a bit whoops sorry and then um i pulled out a teal i didn't have this on my spring seasonal rack but i wanted a brighter kind of blue green um so i pulled this one out from orally and this is called hip and outlandish it says this is such a beautiful color on its own um here it's pulling more blue it's a little bit more green um so it looks very teal and then i uh, brushed on halcyon from Cirque colors I'm not a fan of this on its own when I wore it maybe two years ago I still have it um, I may try to wear it again I don't know taste change sometimes and although maybe it wasn't feeling it then but maybe it can it's a beautiful polish I just wasn't feeling it on myself it has two-toned um, shimmer I don't think this is glitter I'm pretty sure this is shimmer uh, and that looked so beautiful. I loved the manicure so much. I wore it for a while as well. Okay, another manicure incorporating this um, sheer pink polish. Again, this is called Sheer Fantasy. I use this as a base. I think I wore this on its own a few days. Um, again, with these kind of polishes, it's a you know, mindful application. I, I go in with a light first coat, thicker second coat, and then the last coat, it's kind of not too thick not too thin but i almost hover the brush over the nail to get as an even application as possible because application with these polishes can be slightly tricky someone actually on instagram asked me to do like share my collection of these type of polishes i may do that in the next week or so um because i have quite a few of these type of polishes and i've been loving them so much i currently have one of them on right now i'll share with you guys what i'm wearing in just a second but anyways um put this on i think i wore it for a few days i was hoping to actually wear a green polish for my birthday um, but i didn't have a chance to really switch out my manicure so instead the day before my birthday what i did is added another coat of sheer fantasy and then went in with glitter this is one of the glitters that i had on my spring seasonal rack and this is called confetti ready um i can't remember what collection this came out in but it's not very old i want to say within the last couple of collections it you know maybe winter holiday something like that uh anyways it's called confetti ready and this has a pink hint of color to it it's more pink in person i feel than what the camera's capturing um but let me do a close-up so you guys can get the gist of the colors because there's gold blue i think silver but the micro glitter is holographic and it's pink oh my god so beautiful i wore that manicure twice <laughs> this spring because it was very delicate um but then it had a little bit of sparkle i just i loved it oh my god it was so beautiful i loved it it looked almost like a gel manicure beautiful combination i freaking love it okay um i have two more manicures to talk about one of which i keep forgetting to mention um i wore it in the winter um I don't know. I keep meaning to talk about it and I always forget. Uh, so I wore Dior Cosmopolite. This is like, um, I guess like a deep dusty rose or a mulberry type of color. I love this polish. It's so beautiful. I love the color. It's amazing. It's a cream, awesome formula. And then on my ring finger, I put on Bit Faker from Butter London. I've done this combination before and then I did a little dry brushing or what have you this time around I just put this on my ring finger this is it looks very gold here but on the nail it pulls more um, bronze but with a hint of pink and you can kind of see the ready pinky tone in this area like the base is tinted slightly uh, this is a texture polish so it does dry gritty it is very very thick now um, I had to put a little bit of base coat and I had to put in um, thinner just to make it um, applicable for me. But it's so beautiful. I love it every time. So I don't mind restoring it every time I pull it because I just love it. I just feel like these two polishes go so well together. And then the last polish and this polish I did wear in April. Um, and it's coming off more orange here. It's more red. Um, there's a hint of orange, like that little glare right here, right in here. It's so pretty, super glowy on the nails. It does require super thick, glossy top coat. And I even had to 
continue adding top coat every couple of days just to um, keep that glow effect on my nails. Um, but uh, beautiful. I loved it. Against my skin tone, it was amazing. This is called Heart and Console. It came out in a spring collection from OPI. Just this past, this just a season. It has a very, like, um, it's coming off gold here, but the shimmer, it's, I don't know, it looks slightly, like, um, it's almost like the base is, uh, I see, I don't know how to explain this. It's I see red, pink, and orange. I don't know if that makes any sense. My pictures do not show how glowy this looks on the nails. Um, what I have found though with polishes like these from OPI is that the they're thinner, and you can see that here. So I do need a few coats of this to get full opacity on my nails that and i feel like i see tip wear very uh, quickly with these types of finishes from opi so in the next coming days i did keep adding an additional coat of this polish and you know top coat but it never ended up looking super thick because it's such a runny consistency i guess um but so beautiful super flattering so that was heart and console from OPI and that completes I think <laughs> hopefully I'm not missing anything that completes all of the manicures that I wore in April actually let me share with you guys what I'm wearing on my nails it's going to be a very lengthy video but I haven't done one in a while so why not um this is the combination I'm wearing currently and I love it um it's not showing true true to color but it's it's all right um it has a hair more of a pinky tone maybe once i, I transfer this um video into my uh my macbook it'll i don't know it'll come out accurately i'm not sure uh i have on uh lace is more from essie this is another one of those sheer polishes but I bought this one and this is my first time wearing this one. I bought this one because out of all of the polishes that I have like this, this is more white. It has, it's a little bit more milky, but not quite as milky as marshmallow. Um, it's almost in between as far as opacity and um, sheerness, if that makes sense. Like this is here, this is here and marshmallow would be here, you know, uh, if that makes sense. But this is still a sheer polish. So, um, I think if I wouldn't use my tinted bases that are white, this would take maybe more coats. I'm not sure, but I usually tend to reach for these, these base coats here. I did add three borderline four coats because I wasn't patient in my application. <laughs> um, so one, one, one nail may have required an additional coat, uh, which is pretty typical for polishes like these. Um, and th this one also has a very fine, do you see that, that gold shimmer? It's so delicate. I see it more in the bottle um, than I do on my nails. Um, and maybe you can see it's super delicate looking on the nails. You can tell that there's something there, but from afar, it looks like a straight up cream. And the reason why I bought it is because, number one, I don't have one of these that look more white, I guess. Um, that's number one. Number two, Vanity Fair is from Essie, which is more pink, but it has a very fine, I think, silver little shimmer. Love the consistency of that. Um, it is one of the best, um, I feel, in application. Like, the shimmer helps it apply so much better. This one, not so much. And I, it could be because it's slightly bit more milky, so it has that white base a little bit more. But it still wasn't, like, super difficult so beautiful and then i applied on my ring finger and my thumb my favorite metallic glitter ever this is from ncla and it's called grace and this has two-toned metallic glitter so there's silver and then there's gold glitter but that hints a little pink and maybe you can see it right there it has that little hair like hint of pink in it it's just so beautiful and i find that to make that glitter to be super flattering this type of glitter or this polish in particular i don't care what season i will wear it i i love it so much it's just so beautiful and then lastly let me share with you guys the a top coat i've been loving a viewer anna sent this to me along with a topper that i um 
I've been using also, I mentioned this topper because I used it with some uh, Project Polish uh, manicures. Um, so, and then I used it also um, in May. So I'll talk about this topper in May. But anyway, she sent me this one and a couple other polishes. And then she also sent me this topper. She said it was awesome. This is a very, very, very good topper. It's a fast drying top coat, but I do find that compared to my out the door, let's say, or even sash, I feel like this dries the nail, the polish completely through to where I feel like with these sometimes I still have to wait a little while. Like it's dry to the touch, but if I was to dig my nail in, I could leave an indentation to where with this, I don't know, this dries pretty, pretty fast. I feel thoroughly, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean. It's just so good and it's super thick and very very glossy but it's not thick to where it leaves my nails looking like um chunky i guess or thick i can go back in with this tomorrow and my nails still won't look like i'm layering you know too much polish on my nails if that makes sense i don't know very good top coat i would buy this again um, okay, that is everything. I thank you so much for watching. I know this video was pretty lengthy, um, but I do appreciate the time that you take to not only watch, but also leave some comments. Um, and I'm hoping to record my uh, my May monthly manis in the next few days, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.